Friday Fitness on a Friday. Why is the camera at this angle we've never seen before? Where I can't quite stand and I can't quite crouch because I'm going to show you guys a kettlebell swing. Now I know that a squat is not a kettlebell swing and a kettlebell swing is not a squat. And the third, fourth, and the third uh, commandment is thou shalt squat. But one, there's not too much I want to say about the squat this week. And two, I just picked up this really good exercise that I'm excited to share. So I got this from my coach in, um, in exercise theory. And uh, so shout out to her, Lana. And yeah, you, sh you need to already be able to do a kettlebell swing to do this, which hopefully you can because literally everyone should be doing kettlebell swings. This is also a good exercise if you've got one kettlebell that's light and you've already kind of outgrown it, this will get you a little more use out of it. Now I'm just gonna show you the chest and then I will also film the feet, figure it out, edit as need be. But basically, you're, just, you're gonna do a kettlebell swing and then also throw in some, ab some adduction. So you're gonna bring your feet close together. So you're just gonna do a standard swing, right? And at the top, you're gonna step in with one leg. So take an even wider than normal stance and just step to your right and back down. And step to your left and back down. And this is gonna make kettlebell swings much more involved, much more interesting, and it's just gonna, it's gonna work. I shouldn't talk and swing. It's gonna work. You're gonna feel it in the inside of your legs where you never feel a kettlebell swing. You're gonna feel it in your calves. It's gonna make you more coordinated because you're taking a risk of cracking yourself somewhere between knee and belly button with a kettlebell. And so yeah, just that side to side motion is gonna increase your coordination. It's gonna work different muscles and it's a great use for a lighter kettlebell. Now since we're here and we're talking about it, I'm gonna show you another thing that I like that you can do with a lighter kettlebell to get more out of it. You can do one-armed kettlebell swings and switch. Again, this will sharpen up your coordination. It'll be good for your grip strength. You're still getting kettlebell swings. They're nice and asymmetrical now, so you're gonna feel it more on, on each oblique one at a time. And it'll be a better core workout than just normal kettlebell swings with a too light kettlebell. So there you go. Now, I guess I should say this, even though I assumed at the beginning that everyone knows this, but a kettlebell swing is not a squat, it's a deadlift, okay? You wanna get into the good morning position. You're just totally bending just at the hips. Like your knees should bend very, very little. You set up with a bent knee and then all you do is push your hips back and then push your hips forward, okay? It's like bending the knee, but after that, it's all in the hips. If I turn my head, I might hurt myself, but yeah. And that's it. So, a kettlebell swing is not a squat. So thou shalt squat is the commandment, but thou shalt also kettlebell swing. All right, happy fucking Friday. <laughs>